Well, Marcia Smith knows firsthand what it's like to recover from grief and trauma after a violent gun attack. Marcia, thank you for coming. Uh, in 1987, your stepfather shot your mother and yourself. Your mother did not survive. It's been 33 years. How did you process the gun violence in your life? Well, that was such a difficult time, and it was so unexpected. And so, as you can imagine, the pain of losing my mother was just beyond uh, description. But the, the gun vo violence that occurred with me is nothing like what you see on television. And so initially I did not feel any pain other than tingling in my arms. And I went around quickly to where my mom was lying on the ground. And there, again, there wasn't severe pain. The pain came after the numerous operations I had to have. And so there is the physical difficulty of losing function of both your arms, needing someone to feed you and to bathe you. So that was difficult and required months of physiotherapy. And you were a nurse. I you nurse. knew about this. Mm -hmm. But the whole system of suddenly being completely dependent on health care was overwhelming. It was. It was very challenging for a very independent person as I was. And as I began to um, learn how to, even something as simple as write my name, that took a journey. It caused you, as you healed, you had to actually change jobs. You went from active nursing to desk nursing. Yes. And as you watch all of this increase in gun violence, what goes through your mind as you're seeing how it's increasing in Canada? What, what goes through your mind about what families are coping with? Well, my first thought basically goes towards the families, because whenever I listen to the news and I hear there's another shooting, I think of the mother, the father, the sisters, the entire family and the pain that they are dealing with right away. And I often would say a quick prayer and I say, Father, help them. Because firsthand I know that it was God's grace and his gift towards me that enabled me to walk through this journey. You, you, you've said you've had to forgive. Mm -hmm. How important was that? I think that is critical to how I came out of the other side of this. And I had this experience when I was in the hospital, lying in bed with both my arms in a cast, unable to care for myself. Someone came to my hospital room and the curtain was half drawn. I saw the footsteps. They called my name, but they didn't enter. And as I turned my head the other direction, I had this overwhelming sense I had forgiven my stepfather. I could not explain it, and I wouldn't tell it to anyone for the longest time, because in my mind, it didn't make any sense that you could forgive somebody who murders your mother and left you injured in this state. But that was the foundation for you beginning then, going back to church and starting to investigate what you do for soul care. Yes. An important part of your journey? Definitely. Um, I, in the hospital, I sat across, um, my bed was, a, you know, Jesus hanging on the cross. And the I Catholic could, hospital. The Catholic hospital. So they hospital. had those symbols, yes. That's right. And I began recalling all that I was taught in Sunday school as a little girl. And I began talking to, to Jesus. And I began all of the questions that I had about him and why this happened to me. Then I began going to church with my family. And that made the biggest difference in my life. Because a few months later, um, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And that changed everything. And it eventually changed your journey to healing. You left nursing and you are now a pastor. Yes, I what do. does the church have to bring to the gun violence problem in Canada? I believe the beautiful gospel message of Jesus Christ, the peace, the joy, and that makes the difference in everyone's life. When you have learned how much God has forgiven you, then you can extend this forgiveness to others. And once we are freed from unforgiveness, the pain, um, the bitterness will go because we then receive God's healing. He not only heals us physically, but he also heals us emotionally. And that's what he did for me. And that made the difference in my journey Whenever I encountered people, they expected me to be sad and depressed, but I was filled with the joy of the Lord. And it may not have made sense to other people watching, but for me, it made the biggest life change, accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, receiving his forgiveness, and then being able to extend that forgiveness to others. 
Well, Pastor Marcia Smith, thank you uh, for surviving. Thank you for forgiving. And thank you for teaching us today there's new beginnings. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hit subscribe and the notification bell to get our weekly episodes and web exclusives.